Um, and it really is a, a great honor because throughout my entire life, my aunt has always been there for not only myself, but my siblings, uh, my cousins, you know, my aunts, my uncles, my grandma, my grandpa. Um, whether it's driving hours back and forth to take us to a movie, take us to dinner, take us on vacation, whatever it is, she's always been there. And these last few years, the same can be said for Wayne. So. Wow, you look really wow, handsome, you look, honey. You look, <laughs> you look like an angel. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yep. Good. All right. Though, we're obviously all here to celebrate these two coming together in marriage, the unity of marriage. And that's what today is all about, the unity of these two, <laughs> the love that they have for one another. And now, obviously, love isn't something that's so easy to define. We can't always put words to it. 
it's something you you look at and you just know it's there it's a commitment to one another it's a respect for one another it's something that you can look at two people and you know those two are going to make it or yeah i think those two have a pretty good chance of making it <laughs> and i think today without a doubt we can look at these two and say i'm 50 50. <laughs> okay. give up your heart let joyfulness of giving break forth as spring upon a winter weary face. The long awaited warmth of spring opening new life. In every bud, a flower presents its beauty and sweetness, asking nothing. Sharing everything she has to anyone who but glances her way. So let the garden of your heart radiate your life and give not of a worldly thing, but as the flower, its beauty and sweetness. And even as a flower cannot give, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> because I think what that poem is really telling us is that life will sometimes take us in directions that we aren't always expecting. And sometimes they won't be good. Sometimes there will be the arguments along the way. There will be the fights along the way. There will be Wayne leaving breadcrumbs on a counter or Wayne leaving toothpaste out. A lot of these will be about Wayne, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. If I turn the labels... Don't do it. Don't, Just don't do it. All the labels face out. That's right. Saying that no matter what happens, good, bad, life always seems to have a way of putting you exactly where you're supposed to be. Everything happens for a reason. I think that's a cliche, but I also think it's true. I believe it. And I think that's exactly why we're here today at this moment. When he looked into her eyes, he learned the most important part of the language that all the world spoke. The language that everyone on earth was capable of understanding in their heart. It was love. Something older than humanity, as ancient as the desert. What the man felt at that moment was that he was in the presence of the only woman in his life. And that, with no need for words, she recognized the same thing. Because when you know the language, it's easy to understand that someone in the world awaits you, whether it's in the middle of the desert or in some great city. And when two such people encounter each other, the past and the future become unimportant. There's only that moment and the incredible certainty that everything under the sun has been written by one hand only. It's the hand that evokes love and creates a twin soul for every person in the world. Without such love, one screws with that moment. Eileen, I want to thank you. Thank you <laughs> for your love. Because your love is the best thing that's ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> I know that we have pretty much, this is in my eyes the fourth chapter. So I'm going to go through them real quick with you. Chapter 1. The moment we met, I fell in love with you. You know that. Our first date was amazing. There was just sparks. We loved each other. We laughed. We can't remember where it was. We really had no idea. No clue. But we know where we sat. <laughs> and I was just mesmerized by your eyes. And it was wonderful. Am I right? Yes. We went on and we made some picture-perfect memories those first time around. My children know, and you put that together. It is, means so much to me and so much to my kids. I mean, we went to, we, we drove 13 hours to pick them up because we didn't want them to take a second flight. We wanted the kids to be able to fly direct. And that was Minneapolis, Minnesota, so you and I drove all the way to pick them up. We didn't just, we turned to the Mall of America. We stopped on the way back. She pointed at us, of course, you know. <laughs> Chicago, Nike store. We're stuffing Rainforest, Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> we had, we went to all the great places. And she did that. And the memories that we made. I have boxes of pictures. And she does too, because she's all categorized by date, which is amazing. I, I, she oldest on August 13th is so <laughs> She's just incredible. You are an angel. And I know she's going to tell you in her thing that she knew it even before I did. I guarantee you. Because she does. She knew we were in love before. She had talked to me on the phone 
when I didn't even know who she was just because my sister was busy and said, here, talk to my brother for a second, I gotta wash a dish or something. <laughs> Believe me, your speech is coming. And I'll take out this opportunity and just thank you from the bottom of my heart for introducing me to this wonderful, wonderful woman. I love you and I could never ever apologize enough for chapter two, which I'm gonna to get to in a minute. Chapter four. Yeah, I know. We're not getting to chapter four, you gotta to listen to my story. I got a mic in my hand, it could be a long night. Where's Bree? Start serving. <laughs> All right, how long do I got? Half hour? You got one minute. You got one minute. Right. One minute. <laughs> this is gonna be really quick. Chapter two. For some ungodly reason, I broke up with this woman. I have no idea why. All I could say is that I was crazy and out of my mind. I must have been. Everybody in my family knew it. You know what happened? They took you and banished me. Stop. I was gone for 15 years. You became anti lean Poor Courtney, she's like, who are you again? I'm on the wing. All right, anyway, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop because I'm in, I gotta get this out. I'm only doing this one time. This is our wedding. I will, if you really want me to stop. No, no, go. All right, chapter three. I'll jump to that because, well, first off, I gotta give one more part of chapter two for Georgina because the way I describe myself in my notes was I was a such a such. <laughs> and that, to me, you can fill in your own blank. I don't really care. I was such a such a. And that's what Eileen's mom calls me. You are such a it is. such a. And I am not sure what that means. But all I can say is that I assure you this, I am not that man anymore. I was a little ripe on the vine. Kind of like a strawberry wine or something. I was I was just I was I was not the man that God wanted me to be. So I went and became that man. And that brought me to chapter three. I came back, the long shot. You all know what a long shot is, right? Well, I was the long shot. Kind of like the Aggies beat in Alabama. <laughs> Can I hear it? Wait, did they? Uh, yeah. We oh got, my we gosh. Got long shots. Well, I was the long shot. I went back, I had God seriously tap me on my shoulder and told me, go get that girl. Everyone in my life knows I was in love with you from the moment we met. So I did. I finally drove from Nashville, Tennessee, straight to Michigan, went to my sister Kim, Again. and of course, and said, where's Eileen? Where is she? I need to know. And she said, there's no way you are going near Eileen. No way. You forget about it. I was shot down, but I worked my way back, and she finally told me where you were. You were singing for the Jubileers. I got in my car, I drove, went right to the church. I walked in just in time to see you seeing a solo and the name of the song was thank you for your love which is what i'm doing here right now i assure you chapter four is the best and it is yet to be i will make you so proud and i love you so very much thank you for this day Almost husband. there is a passage from the song of solomon that i saw the other day and remember i showed you the passage reads, I have found the one who my soul loves. I have found the one that my soul loves. And it's amazing, right? It's deep and profound. It's deep and profound like the love I have in my heart for you. When you touch my soul, you always have. And I, we've known for many, many years of our connection, our connection that even through our life happens moments, there you go. has held strong and two, true, knowing that we were undeniably meant to be together. You've always been in my heart, and I'm just so thankful that you found your way back into my arms. Before God and our beautiful families, I promise you that my feelings for you are honest and true. They are faithful and worthy of your love. When you make my heart happy, I love that we laugh together. I love that we sing a lot. I love that we talk. I love that we adventure. I love that we like each other. I really, really love that we like each other. And I love that we love. I love, love, love when you sing, turn the page. Woo! Tingles and goosebumps. I love the compassion and generosity that you show and provide to your clients. 
you truly care about them and you hold them in your heart and it's so beautiful and a pure testimony of who you are. Yeah. I love, love, love <laughs> how you hold my hand when we're sleeping. I love that you make me feel safe. I love that you make me feel special. I love our Friday night dinner wine music ketchups. I love the peacefulness and I love the magic. I love our Sunday breakfast world news conversations at the counter. And I love watching the tigers with you, even if the neighbors are concerned about the noise. But yes, thank you for that. That's fabulous. I love how you've gotten me excited about football and hockey, especially my love for Mahomes. Woo! And I love how you're not jealous about Gerard. Butler. <laughs> I love and appreciate your patience and calm. You always have that positive approach that I need in my life. Even with all these loves, there is one thing that means the world to me, and I hope you realize how much this point matters. I love how I can be 100% myself. This is huge, right? I never have to pretend with you. I never have to question myself. I never have to give up one piece of who I am and what I represent. You love me, all of me. You know, like the song, all of me loves all of you. Thank you, honey. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving my heart, my mind, my body, my soul. Thank you for loving my beautiful daughter and my beautiful family and all that is important to me. It's definitely going to be an interesting journey, this marriage thing, but through thick and thin, you are the only man I want to be with. Truly. I pray for God's blessing as he looks down upon us today in the presence of those we hold most dearest. I know that you're the only man I want to grow old with. Wayne, I love you with my whole heart. I knew from the moment we spoke on the phone those many years ago that I had found you, the one whom my soul loves. I love you. This is one love thing. I really love it. It's your wedding. Is it's your you know wedding. What's gonna be? What? I love you because, baby, you're the best I've ever met. <laughs> and when I say I do today, I mean, I will. I will be faithful and true and totally devoted to you. That's all. Eileen, do you take Wayne Jones to be your husband? I do. I do. Do you promise to love, cherish, and protect him? I do. And do you promise to forsake all others and hold only unto him? I do. Okay. Wayne, do you take Eileen Sawyer to be your wife? Do you promise to love, cherish, and protect her? I do. Do you promise to forsake all others and only hold unto her? I do. Okay. So the rings before us are an unbroken circle, and they represent the love that these two have for each other, and they signify for all of us the union of these two in marriage. So now I'm going to ask Eileen, Aunt Eileen, please repeat after me. This ring is my sacred gift. This ring is my sacred gift. With my promise that I will always love you. With my promise that I'll always love you. That I will always cherish you. I'll always cherish you. And I will always honor you all the days of my life. And I will always honor you all the days of my life. And with this ring. And with this ring. I be wed. I be wed. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, Wayne, please repeat after me. This ring is my sacred gift. This ring is my sacred gift. With my promise that I will always love you. With my promise that I will always love you. That I will always cherish you. That I will always cherish you. And that I will always honor you all the days of my life. And I will always honor you all the days of my life. And with this ring. And with this ring. I be wet. I be wet. And that's it, everybody. Now, with the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you may.
may now kiss the bride. If 